to lunch, everyone. It's uh, I, I, I haven't recorded one of these lunch introductions before because I'm used to doing them in person. But I think uh, because Sergei Konoplyov is going to be catching a flight back to Greece later today, I just wanted to take time to say something that's a little more meaningful than the dashed off commentary I would otherwise give because it'll be another month or so before I get to see Sergei and spend time with him. Sergei and I have been together in many ways for a long time, right? The picture that you see here is from a program that Sergei was running. I taught in in 2000 in the same classroom that we're now in, uh, so 24 years ago. Sergei Konoplyov is an American citizen, born in Ukraine. He served in the Soviet Armed Forces, and his military service included missions in Africa, Latin America, Kyrgyzstan. Finally, he was the chief of interpretation and translation for an academic arm of the Air Force. After the disintegration, disintegration of the Soviet Union, Sergei became an officer in the Ukrainian Armed Forces and served with the United Nations, retiring as a major in 1994. Then he worked as acting director for the Eraser Foundation for Ukraine, Belarus, and Moldova. And then he joined us here in 1996. He has a master's degree, but when he graduated from our program in 1997, we kept him. We kept him here for the next 25 years. Sergei's now retired. Along the way, he became a doctor in good order, and he was a a central node in the network of scholars and analysts of the Black Sea region. He directed Harvard's Ukrainian National Security Program, our long-running Black Sea security program. He worked with me in our Russian Duma program, and at every step he provided just invaluable insights. Sergei is the author of three books. Right? And uh, along our travels across the seas, I have many wonderful memories, Sergei. Uh, that meal in Pushkin restaurant with, uh, with our friend Angela. Or the time at the, the old airport in Moscow, um, when only because you stood taller than the rest, uh, you were able to get me on that flight at the last moment to get home. I always appreciate it. Um, how decisively and boldly you could act in times when we needed you. I remember well our times uh, working in the Duma when you had me come over and uh, sing like a bird. It was fun and I think it also made a difference. I know that your work made a huge difference. One of my fondest memories is of the luncheon that you hosted in Moscow in 2005 and a little bit of that story is up on the screen. You know the story well. Everyone involved in this knows it well. But what our participants today at lunch don't necessarily grasp yet is that the friendships that you can make, the relationships that we build in these sorts of executive ed programs can be tremendously consequential. And without the program, Sergei, that you developed, uh, those six Russian sailors would have died. Uh, you did that by helping to create an environment of trust between an American admiral, uh, a Russian admiral, um, where the Russian admiral ultimately exercised leadership in an incredibly dangerous way, but a meaningful way that, again, saved those lives. Sergey, you're with me every day in my office, even when it's empty, because the Ukrainian flag and your presence is felt and I I understand the importance of this relationship between the United States and Ukraine. It's it's remarkable. My first trips to Moscow long before I met you um, I, I, I didn't grasp the differences between being a Russian and being Ukrainian. I hope you'll talk a little bit about that today. So when I say that Sergei is this central node in a network of scholars and analysts, I, I definitely am understating his reach. He's trusted, he's admired, and he's liked. And for anyone at Harvard University to be trusted, admired, and liked for 25 years, it's just incomprehensible. So Sergei's now retired. He lives in Greece. Uh, lived for many years in Watertown. You could probably park in front of his old house. 
It's my deep, great pleasure to, Sergey, welcome you to this luncheon. I hope I haven't overpromised now. Knock it out of the park, okay, brother? Thank you.